All right. So I wanted to go over uh, Sharif's test. Um, just go run through it real quick. Um, this was rather easy compared to what we've been practicing. Um, I asked him in the hallway after uh, we finished with Scott's class. We saw him, and I said, Mr. Sharif, I appreciate you only doing one channel group. And he said, if you can do it once, you can do it a thousand times. So I think that's the reason why he went with this particular setup. Um, I also threw an ISP just, well, because. Um, so, yeah, I wanted to go over this real quick. You know, we've got two regular switches. we got two MLS switches. That was our one channel group. Right? And, uh... We had these all crisscrossed applesauce together. Now, he couldn't have done them together. He could, we could have done them together, in all fairness. We could have put an FA between, but he didn't ask us to do that. So, again, I feel like it was pretty easy. I dragged this over here. Let me go ahead and we'll start with placing our switches. Boom, boom. Gonna go ahead and connect everything using the crossover cables. So we did what? Uh, 23 and 24 up here, right? And then down here, we did what? One to one, one to one. And then we did what? Two to two. So, setting all this up first, right? Um, I did not use uh, his layout. I'm sorry, he did 21 and 20. Excuse me, 21 and 20. I didn't use I didn't use his layout. I just did my own, right? Uh, I don't know if in the future. We're going to see him uh, giving us the layout beforehand, but maybe he will. I don't know. All right, so as I was, we're doing port one to port 20, right? And then port two to port 21. I didn't the same thing. Port one to port 20. Port two to port twenty-one. All right, let's make sure that's right. Yep, yeah, twenty-one. 20. Okay. So uh, I went ahead and did all of my computers right off the bat just to get them placed. So uh, I always do left to right, right? So when I have multiple VLANs in my mind, I always know I go left to right. So that means that this is going to be VLAN, the first VLAN, second VLAN, third VLAN. I do it that way. I don't have to think about it. It's just automatic, right? Now we look at our VLANs over here to the right. Uh, 1 through 8 is VLAN 8, 9 through 15 is VLAN 9, and 16 through 18 is VLAN 10. So I like to connect uh, my end devices to the first number of the VLAN. That way, again, I don't have to think about it. I just know it's already done, right? So I'm connecting to 1, connecting to 9, connecting to 16. Once again, the left to right, so I know my first one's my VLAN 1, or my first VLAN, which is VLAN 8, actually. Then I'm going to connect to 9 for VLAN 9, and then I'm going to connect to uh, 16 for VLAN 10. Then again, left to right, every time. <clears throat> now, even though these are different gigabit ports instead of fast ports, same concept, 1. Then 9, and then we're going to do 16. I'm doing this all now to get it out of the way. I don't think about it. It's done. Again, left to right. 1, 9, and 16. Okay. Now, That's all connected. Let's go ahead and <clears throat> name our 
MLSs. So he had us do MLS 1. I'm going to do 1A. MLS 2A. That way there's no conflict of names. And this was switch 3. So 3A. And this will be switch uh, 4A. Okay. Now we got to turn these bad boys on. So we're going to open it up. Drag and drop our power supplies in. And we'll turn the menu on. Let it start loading. Go ahead and do the same thing with this one. We've got a, these MLS... Uh, 3650s, whatever they are, you gotta put the power supplies, let it turn, do its thing. Okay. While we wait, we're gonna go to switch three and we're going to uh, name it. Always do that first, get it out the way. So enable config T host name SW3A. And we'll do the same thing, go to this switch, enter, enable config T host name SW4A okay now let's go back to MLS 1 no enable config T host name MLS 1A and we'll knock out MLS 2 no enable config T host name MLS 2A okay those are done so now if we go back and look at our topology what we want to do we're going to have a channel group between these two, right? So let's go ahead and write that down. It's going to be channel one, and we're doing LACPA, which means active, passive. Now, he said in class it didn't matter what we did, so we're going to do active, passive, instead of just active, active. Either way, it doesn't matter. The rest of these are all just going to be trunked together. So there's only one channel group command we got to do, which is nice. There's two thoughts here. <clears throat> Complete your trunking after you do your channel groups, and then you can do your ports. Or you can do one, complete it, then go to the next one, complete it, next one. I think everybody can probably agree it's better just get our trunk together first, make sure they're all seeing each other, and then we go from there, right? So let's do that first. Let's make our trunking. So for channel, our channel group is going to be int gig. 1 slash 0 slash 23 dash 24. Uh, you got to put range, right? When it's more than one port. Okay. We're going to do channel group 1, because it's only channel 1. Mode. We'll make uh, MLS 1 active, and we'll make uh, MLS 2 passive. Okay. Enter. Then we're going to do interface cha uh, port channel 1. And then we're going to do switch port. Boom. That's it. Let's go over to MLS2. We're going to do the same thing. Interface uh, range gig 1 slash 0 slash 23 dash 24. Enter. Channel group 1 mode passive. Okay. Then we're going to it to the port channel 1. And then we're going to do switch port mode trunk. Bada bing, bada boom. Now, one thing we did forget, uh, we got our channel group done, right? I still have multiple ports on these MLS switches that need to be trunked. So while we're in two, we'll knock that out, then we'll go back to one, knock that out, and then both of those will be done. And then we'll go down to the regular switches, okay? So interface, <clears throat> remember you can do exit, exit, read, write, or you can just do, uh, while you're in there, right? You can do interface gig uh, one slash zero. So the uh, two regular layer two switches are connected to port 20 and port 21. So we're gonna do slash 20. Then we're gonna do switch port load trunk. Enter. And then we're gonna do up, up, 21, up, up, enter. And that's it. Exit, exit, read, write. That's done. Let's go over to MLS one finish that over there we're gonna do interface gig 1 slash 0 slash 20 enter switch port mode trunk up up 21 enter up up switch port mode trunk enter that is it 
exit, exit, read, write. That's done. That's trunking is done. We have trunking completed at these two top levels. That's it. That's it. That's all you need to do. Okay? So now let's go back to our switch one. Or switch three, rather. Excuse me. We've got two ports here that need to be trunked. Gig 01 and gig 02. So we're going to do interface. Gig 0 slash 1. Switch port. Mode. Trunk. Enter. That's it. Up. Two. Up. Up. That's it. Exit, exit, read, write. That's done. That that switch is done. Those two ports are now trunked. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay? Do the exact same thing on switch four. Interface. Gig. Zero slash one. See how it's not up there, right? Switch port. Mode. Trunk. Up, up. Two. Up, up, mode trunk. That's it. Read, write. That's it. Now, all of these are trunked together. Now, we go back to our topology. He wanted to make MLS 1 the root bridge for VLANs 1 and 8, and MLS 2 the root bridge for 9 and 10. Now, we're going to save that step for after we create our VLANs, okay? He also wanted uh, the uh, VTP modes, the uh, server. I didn't, did I write this down on this one? No, I didn't. Okay, he wanted uh, the two switches to be client and the other two to be um, the server. So we're going to go ahead and type those in real quick. So MLS1, we're going to go to config T, VTP mode server, it's already the server, VTP domain, cisco.com, okay, VTP version 2, okay, that's it done. We'll go over to MLS2, config T, VTP mode server, VTP domain cisco.com, and VTP version 2. Now it's already set, right? But we're going to type it in anyway just the way it's done. Now, he said he wanted these two to be clients, right? All we got to do, make sure we're in config T, right? VTP mode client. That's it. That's all you gotta do. Type in VTP mode client. Config T. Why? Because client is gonna pull all the data from the server. Oh, so they're gonna get all the anything they need. So if we would hit exit right now, show VLAN. I don't have anything set up, but everything's pulled. Okay? Now watch. Let's go set up our VLANs here on MLS1, right? He said to set everything up on MLS1. Now watch. Do this. The command is going to be VLAN 10 name. Uh, what do we name it? Name IT VLAN. Uh, excuse me, that was wrong. No VLAN 10. Okay. VLAN 8. See, so he's doing the same stuff. Name IT VLAN 9. Name sales. VLAN 10 name HR. Okay. Now we're going to interface where are our ports? Our ports are right here. Interface gig 1 slash 0 slash 1 dash 8 because that's where our VLAN 8 is supposed to be. Right? Okay. Oh, we got to hit exit. My bad. Interface gig 1 slash 0 slash 1 dash 8. Okay. That's where VLAN 8 is going to be. I forgot to put range. <laughs> okay, int range. Gig 1 slash 0 slash 1 dash 8. Switch port. <laughs> Mode access. Switch port. Access VLAN 8. Enter. Up, up, up. 9 dash 15. Enter. Up, up, up. Enter. Up, up, up. Dash, uh, delete that, make 9. Up, up, up. 16 through 18, enter. Up, 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 enter. Up, up, up. Make it 10. That's it. That's all we had to do. That's done. So now we've identified those ports. Now, he did say he wanted to make sure we put the IP addresses on MLS1. Default gateway, so we're going to do that. Interface, VLAN, 8. 
IP address 10.10.8.1, right? Space 255, 255.255.0, boom. No shutdown. Uh, up, 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 VLAN 9, enter. Up, 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 change that dot eight to dot nine, enter. Up, 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 no shutdown, up, 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 VLAN 10, enter, enter. Up, 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 change that nine to a 10, enter. Up, 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 no shutdown, that's it. Safe in, exit, exit, read right. All right. Now, <clears throat> that, that one's done. Uh, these clients should be able to pull information now. Assuming there's our IT, right? He's pulling it now. But that, you see how it doesn't, it hasn't assigned the ports? What does that mean? It means we still gotta assign the ports, right? So we've gotta assign the ports on all these other three switches. And that is this command. Right? Interface gig one slash zero slash and then what's our port numbers? One dash eight. Right? Range, don't forget range. Switch port. Load access. Branches of the tree need access to the trunk, right? Because they need to get the nutrients. Switch port, access, VLAN, eight, enter. Up, up, up. 9-15, enter, up, 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 enter, up, up, up. <coughs> Make that 9. <coughs> right? Up, up, up. 16-18, enter. Up, 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 enter, up, up, up. Make it 10. That's it. Exit, exit, free right. That's done. Here. Now that's that MLS switch. Let's go to switch one. This is where it differs, right? Because <clears throat> our ports are different on the two layer two switches. But it's the same concept. Interface, range, FA, zero, slash, what are we doing? One dash eight, enter. Switch port, mode, access. Branches of the tree need access to the trunk. Right? Access. VLAN 8, enter. Up, up, up. 9 15, enter. Up, 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 enter. Up, up, up. Make it 8, a 9, enter. Up, up, up. 16 18, enter. Up, 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 enter. Up, up, up. 8, 10, enter. That's it. Exit, exit, read, write. That's done. That's done. So we got one switch left. Same, same story. Inter uh, config T, not in config T, there we go. Interface, range, FA, zero, slash. Let's check our numbers. Come over here so I can see it. One dash eight, enter. Switch port, mode, access. Branches of the tree need access to the trunk. Switch port, access. VLAN, eight, enter, up, up, up. 9-15, enter, up, 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 mode access, up, 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 boom, 9, up, 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 16-18, enter, up, 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 mode access, up, 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 change that to 10, done, exit, exit, read, write, boom, now, show VLAN, now, we got our VLANs already named and stuff, but now they have their ports, so now, all we got to do to make these communicate is come on these computers and give them their IP address. So if you notice, over here I've got my, my IP address is already picked out. And what I did is, I'm going to start with the first switch, so for that's MLS1. It's going to get the first row of IP addresses. And then I'll go to the second row, third row, fourth row. So one, two, three, four. So, we're going to start with the, again I go left to right. So this first desktop is going to be 10.10.8.8. Hit tab. Now, it didn't autofill the 255.255.255.0. .255 .255 .0, so 
So what I did to speed things up was to copy the entire thing and then I just pasted it in every time. 10.10.8.1 is our gateway, right? That one's our gateway, right here. Okay, then I close it, that's it, that's done. Desktop, IP, this is gonna be 10.10.9.9. Tab, paste, tab, 10.10.9.1. Close, close, enter. Desktop, IP, 10.10.10.10. Tab, paste, tab, 10.10.10.1. Done. Now this is the second switch, so we're gonna give these desktops the next set in my list. So this will be 10.10.8.9. Tab, paste, tab, 10.10.8.1. Okay. And we're gonna repeat this process all the way till we're done. 9.10, tab, paste, tab, 10.10, 10, uh, 9, 1. This is my third switch. So this will be 10.10.8.10. Tab, paste, tab, 10.10.8.1. Click, click, open, desktop, IP. This is 9.10.10.9. Third one on the list, 11. Tab, paste, tab, 10.9.1. Done. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And I know what you're thinking. You forgot something. Yes, I did forget something. We're going to do it. 10.10. .10 Third one on my list. 12. Tab, paste, tab. 10.10.10.1. .10 .10 okay. And last but not least, desktop IP config. This is the last one on my list. 10.10.8.11. Tab, paste, tab. Well, I don't actually need that. 10.10.8.1. Close, close. Desktop IP config. 10.10.9. Last one on the list. 12. Tab paste. Tab 10.10.9.1. And our last computer. Last but not least. IP config. 10.10.10.13. Tab paste. Tab 10.10.10.1. Okay. Now, if you know, you know, right? You know I forgot a, I forgot one piece of code. So let's go ahead and test. Command prompt. Ping. 10.10.8.1. Okay, I can see that. That's good. I can see the gateway. Okay, great. Can I see uh, my gateway or someone else's gateway? Okay, I can see .9's gateway. I can see .10's gateway. Okay, great. Can I see a computer other than myself on the network? Let's see. I can't. Why? I forgot one piece of information. You know what it is? Of course you know what it is. IP routing. I forgot IP routing. Exit. Read right. Guess what? Bet you I can find it now. Sure can. <clears throat> One piece of code. I forgot IP routing. Now I can see everything. Watch. Watch me find everything. So remember, I'm over here on the furthest switch, switch four. Right? <clears throat> 12. So I'm, I'm pinging a computer in VLAN 10. I'm in VLAN 8. That's not connected to the same switch as me. 
right? We're able to see it. Now I'm going to go through all of these. That way I know that the routing table gets the route for all of these. So from now on, this will be a smooth process. So we'll do 8.8. .8. Okay, we know what 8.8 .8 is. We'll do 8.9. That <clears throat> and I'm 11. Right? We're in the same VLAN, so I should know where it's at. So let's start with 9.9. .9. <clears throat> and that 10. Dot 11's next. And our last one will be dot 12. I just did that one. Dot 12. Dot 12, bro. Dot 12. All right. Now a routing table should have everything, right? All the computers. So, now... We're done pinging. We can see everything. Great. Fantastic. What's the last thing we needed to do that he asked us to do? Was this. To make our root bridges. So all we got to do. MLS1 needs to be the root bridge for VLAN 1 and 8. So I'm going to come in here. Into MLS1. I'm going to click config T. I'm going to type in spanning tree. Okay. VLAN 1. Priority. 0. Enter. Hit up. And I'm going to delete one. And what what is it supposed to be? VLAN one and eight. So I'm going to hit eight. Enter. That's it. Exit. Show spanning tree. Here we go. VLAN one. I am the root. VLAN eight. I am the root. Boom. Done. Okay. Read right. That's saved. Now, do the exact same thing on MLS2. Config T. Spanning. Tree. VLANs. What? 9 and 10. So 9. Priority. 0. Might help if I spell it right now. And then I'm going to hit up. Take 9. Delete it. Make it 10. Enter. Exit. Read right. Show spanning tree. Okay. So VLAN 1 and VLAN 8, I am not the root. Why? Because I'm not supposed to be. However, we go to VLAN 9, guess what? I am the root. Go to VLAN 10, guess what? I am the root. And that's it. That's it. That was the test right there. Everything can ping everything else. Let's click on this one. This is on VLAN 9, so let's ping 10.10.10.10. Uh, .10 well, you can see it. No problem. All right, that's it. Now, what I did to be a, to be a show off, right? I added in uh, VLAN. Uh, excuse me, I added ISP in. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to call this ISP2. And I added in uh, ISP. 2 10.20.30.0 slash 30. Okay. So if you recall, <coughs> oh. me. we've got uh, open ports here that aren't in the VLAN, right? We have 16 to 18. Okay, so that means that 19 and 22 are open. I connected it to 19. Now, all we got to do for these, go to uh, the router. We're going to open up the dialog box. We're going to hit no. Enter, enable, config T. All we're going to do is host name, ISP2. Gig 0 slash 0 is where it's connected. So interface gig 0 slash 0. Enter. 
IP address. We're going to make it 10.20.30.2. 255.255.255.252. Enter. That's it. Exit. Now we can give it an IP route because we know what's going to happen in the future, so we can do it now. IP route 10.10.8.0. So it means anything that's dot eight, or I can just do dot zero. Doesn't matter. We'll do it the hard way. Input eight two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero. And where do I want to send it? I want to send it to the port we haven't numbered yet, which is going to be. Uh, port 19 on MLS 1 and I'm going to give it the dot 1 okay I'm going to hit up come over here delete the 8 make it a 9 enter come over here delete the 9 make it a 10 enter exit read write that is done come back over here to MLS 1 now this is the one's a little bit more tricky we got to do config T now we need interface with gig one slash zero slash. <clears throat> we connected it where? To 19. So 19. We must do this. No switch port. Okay. Now watch what happens when I don't type it in. IP address 10.20.30.1255.255.255.252. Enter. Invalid input detected because we didn't make it no switch port. To watch if I type in no switchboard, then type in the IP address. Guess what? It takes it, no problem. Got to make sure you type in no switch port. Also, got to do what? No shutdown. Guess what? I didn't do on this one. No shutdown. See how it's still red? Uh, interface gig zero slash zero. No shutdown. I know I say it all the time and then I forget, right? Every time you type in IP address, no shutdown. Exit, exit, read, write. Now it's green. Now it's up. Now it's bubbling. Okay. No shutdown. Exit. IP route. Default route here. 0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.